Hello Sagittarius, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and this is your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus and it will be from the 22nd to the 28th of February 2021. So let's get straight into your reading and pull your overarching energy or message for the week. Now my neighbour has been banging next door so I'm hoping that that's finished. <laughs> but we will stay in our zen. So <laughs> and carry on. So what do we have for Sagittarius please? Angel Spirits Guides message for Sagittarius. Thank you. Okay Sagittarius we have the world. Big energy the world. That's your overarching energy for the week. Message for Sagittarius. Message for Sagittarius please. For the week. Thank you. Angel Spirits Guides. Okay, two cards there. So I have friendship and innocence. And that's to do with the world. And angels, what is the message for Sagittarius, please? What does Sagittarius needs to hear? So I have improving health. I mean, that can be anything that could be relationships, friendships, finances, call it what you will. Okay. So I'm going to pull three cards. The first card is you, your current situation, your challenge. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is your outcome. And then we clarify the cards and go deep into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you. Okay, so what do we have for Sagittarius, please? Message for Sagittarius, thank you. 22nd to the 28th of February, 2021. Message for Sagittarius, thank you. I've got three cards there. So we have the Seven of Cups, Three of Pentacles, and the Seven of Wands. Queen of Cups reversed. Interesting. I don't normally have reversals in this deck, but there you go. <laughs> She's come out reversed. And we have the Ten of Cups as your future outcome. Okay, let's clarify these cards and go deeper into the message. Thank you. these cards please for Sagittarius Angel Spirits Guides. It will be from the 22nd to the 28th of February 2021. Thank you. Message for Sagittarius for the week. So I have the Queen of Swords and the Tower. Queen of Cups we have with the Seven of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups Sagittarius I have with the Page of Swords. Bottom of the deck we have the Lovers. <clears throat> so Sagittarius it, it definitely feels like <clears throat> I mean, I can definitely see this is, um, I mean, the lover's energy, the Ten of Cups, Queen of Cups, it feels to do with a relationship here. The, the world card is a completion, um, drawing a line under something, being ready to step through to a new phase of your life. It's a major completion, a major ending of a journey. It's the end of the fool's journey from innocence to um, enlightenment experience. 
um, worldly experience. So in that time, there have been tests, challenges that have um, fueled your evolution and growth. Uh, sometimes not always easy challenges, you know, throughout the full journey, but necessary in terms of the tests are necessary in terms of you know, fueling our spiritual, emotional, physical, mental evolution. So there's definitely an energy that you've learned some challenging lessons, but you're ready to step through to a new phase of your life. Can be drawing a line under a situation here as well. And that's what I'm feeling with this innocence. I mean, it can be an energy if it wasn't your fault, but I'm definitely getting this purging energy, cleansing energy with the world energy. Maybe re-establishment of a friendship or recognition of a friendship or friendship helping you through a situation, um, helping you cleanse and move forward. So friends could be, you know, helping you out in this situation. But I also feel it might well be the opportunity to re-establish the connection in love, romance, relationships as well, because I have improving health. There's a feeling of cleansing, purging the past purging what's gone, drawing a line under it. That is the end. We're ready to step through to a new phase of our life. And that is the energy here because it might well be for some of you that the challenge was a health one in your relationship. You know, this can also be to do with, you know, whatever. I mean, you know, these energies can be about truths coming out. Um, could be to do with other areas, to do with financial areas as well, putting stress on your relationship. But there's definitely a sign here, Sagittarius, that, you know, the health, it feels the health of the relationship is improving. Yeah, it feels, it feels hopeful. There's definitely been challenges in the home. You know, the Queen of Swords is somebody who's, who represents the truth. Now, it could be another person. I have two queens here. So this can be a third party situation. Another person causing some challenge in your relationship. That might resonate for some of you. As an energy, the Queen of Swords is somebody who really gets to the truth of the situation. She is above the clouds of confusion, you know, so she can be linked with some truth. Um, some truth that kind of breaks, that brings change. You know, the, the, the Tower energy is a card of change um this is a square tower your round crown square peg round hole something doesn't fit anymore and the universe says that this tower needs to come down we build many towers in our lives and tear them down it's all part of evolution like i said but it can be some kind of life-changing event something that brings change in your circumstances there has been challenge in terms of Rebuilding. Rebuilding a relationship as well. It feels like there, there was some truth and the reaction to it was, can I rebuild this? You know, is this something, you know, is it so overwhelming that I, is it still in line with my hopes, dreams and wishes? Do I still want this you know, relationship for me. I mean, I have a number of sevens in this reading. Seven is a master number. It's it's a definite energy of your being guided by spirit. I mean, do look it up because it has a number of meanings, um, but it's a really significant master number. But it's a card of challenge in tarot. It's a card of, of, of overcoming challenge, confusion, do I want to rebuild this? Is this something that I want to put my effort into? So it definitely feels that whatever this tower was, it's made you question something. And really connect to how you feel about somebody because this can be a card of evaluating. You've put time and energy into this relationship. This relationship isn't, you know, a few weeks, a few months, it feels like at least a few years old. And 
you've put time and energy into building this relationship. It feels like you've got a home together. And then we have this energy of taking stock. What do I want to do? What's of value to me now in my life? Is this of value enough to me to keep on putting my energy into it? Or do I need to put my, my value elsewhere? Do I want to keep my options open? And it feels like you're trying to understand your inner feelings. You're trying to get clarity in terms of how you feel about a situation or someone in particular. Because for some of you, I, I, I'm kind of feeling that the tower is about truth, revelation, rude awakenings. Um, certainly with the Queen of Swords, which as an energy is generally a truth energy, a clarity energy, bringing clarity to a situation. It definitely feels that you're wanting the clarity. You're wanting to get clarity in terms of how you feel about something. And the message is give yourself time and space to come to the right conclusion for you. This is an, an energy of time. So I definitely feel in this energy, Sagittarius, there, there's a, an energy of give it time and you will get the clarity you need. You know, it feels for some of you, this is the, this, the page of swords is essentially a message of truth. So it might well be for some of you, you're communicating a message of truth or you're getting clarity in terms of how you wanna move forward. Because we have, the Ten of Cups, which is the Happy Ever After card, the blissful relationship, the harmonious relationship, the perfect match relationship. You can see these two people mirror each other perfectly. So there is definitely an energy in terms of it feels like a significant relationship, certainly with the lovers, which is reinforcing that this person compliments you completely. And there is healing available to you because we have Archangel Raphael, which is God's healer, also to do with health issues as well. Um, so this lover's card, the card of Gemini, it feels for some of you, Sagittarius, is telling you that you have the opportunity to get back on track. But maybe there is some choice that you make in terms of how you want to move forward. It definitely feels that you're getting the clarity this week. There's definitely an energy of you have the opportunity to reestablish the bond, the friendship, you know. Um, and again, this mountain, you can see the mountain in between the lovers. There's no obstacle that this union can't overcome. So for some of you, it feels like the reading is ending with some kind of choice or decision. You are getting clarity in which way you want to go. And I feel that's ending with some choice or decision to do with a very strong love romance relationship. And it feels like it's an established relationship. Yeah. Friendship might help or it might well be an opportunity to wipe the slate clean and improve the relationship. So I'm going to pull you one more card. Any other advice for Sagittarius, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Any other advice for Sagittarius, please? In this reading. <clears throat> yeah, we have the Five of Cups. <clears throat> Someone is, someone is regretting their actions. There's regret here. And I feel they want to make amends. That's, uh, this could be the message of truth. They want to speak their truth. or it, it feels for some of you that someone wants to make amends. And there's a choice to be made. In which way you want to go. And that's why you're trying to recognise your own feelings. How you really feel about something. And if this can be salvaged. Yeah, we have, so yeah, the the Three of Cups is a card of, of new growth in a way. It can be a card of finally finding closure. And it's interesting because I am looking at the three cups that are spilt on the floor and then we have the three cups that are full again. So it feels for some of you with these two cards, all is not lost. Um, again, this is an energy of the winter is over, the spring is here. And for some of you, you know, the Ace of Wands can be a card of spark. 
finding the spark, the passion. If you choose to stay in a relationship, this can also be you taking action towards how you want to be inspired. You know, this is inspired action, the Ace of Wands, opening a new door by your own actions, by what, what your inspiration and desire is leading you to do now. So it definitely feels for some of you that there is a powerful new beginning available to you. There is a choice to make, but all doesn't seem to be lost here. Communication is key with this card, you know, um, can also be a card of friendship, emotional support as well, Sagittarius, the Three of Cups. Um, but I feel for some of you, it's interesting that I'm looking at the Three Cups that are lost here, that are spilt, and they've been filled again. So for some of you, there is an opportunity to fill those cups that have been spilt, and it feels like we're some kind of new beginning but it depends on the choice. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. Oh, sorry, Sagittarius, I'm gonna pull you a final card. <laughs> the energies are really absorbing. So let me pull you a final card. Final card for Sagittarius, please. Final card for Sagittarius. Yeah, we have celebration. Get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out to dance and play. An invitation could be on the way. Interesting. I mean, the Three of Cups is a card of celebration. So for some of you, there could be coming through a tough time and, you know, reasons to celebrate. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful week for you all, Sagittarius, and I will see you next time. Thank you.